Hello, Grand Park community. This is gonna be our last class for the summer. We'll have an exciting new program launching in the fall, so look forward to that. Um, I want us to focus today on, um, last time we worked on grounding, today we're gonna to think about it as anchoring. So different things, kind of different visualizations work for different people. Um, so if you think of the anchor of a boat, right, it keeps the boat um, connected, right, so that it doesn't move, but it doesn't mean that the boat isn't going to naturally wave. Um, so we're gonna be thinking similar to what we did on Wednesday, we're gonna be thinking about whatever's touching the earth as our stability, but we'll be doing some more balancing today. Um, we're gonna anchor the breath. Um, so sometimes just giving our body a focus can help us bring ourselves back to the moment, which is what the Yoga Sutras talk a lot about as the um, kind of the goal to settle ourselves into the moment, to limit the fluctuations of the mind. So let us find a seat, shall we? So sitting down onto maybe a chair or the earth, let your hands ground down onto your thighs, really allowing whatever is touching down to touch down and then rising your heart up from that, settling your shoulders away from the ears, softening into your jaw, softening the eyes closed. Noticing where your mind is right now. It's okay if it's all over the place, that's a very human thing for the mind to do. So notice if the mind is in a past thought or a future thought. And maybe just saying the word now to yourself a few times, even if the mind doesn't cooperate, giving yourself permission to be here and now. You've carved out this space for yourself. You might as well be here. And then notice where the breath is in the body. So is the breath really shallow? Is the breath filling into the chest? Or is it somewhere else? We're gonna anchor the breath in our belly to start our pranayama practice today. So our breath work practice. So we're gonna think about filling the breath into like the deep cave of the belly. So softening your eyes closed if they're not. So thinking of the breath initiating from your belly, let it fill into your lungs, which are in your low back. Nice, full, slow breath. And as you exhale, release your breath from your belly and your low back. Couple more times, deep inhale through your nose, into your belly and your low back. Deep exhale through your nose, releasing from your belly and your low back. One more time, inhale into your belly, into your low back. And then as you exhale, release your breath. Next inhale, draw your prayer into your heart. Bow your chin into your heart. And I'm just gonna set an intention for us today to anchor ourselves in the moment to anchor our physical body with whatever is touching the earth and to do our best to anchor our breath in as many shapes as we can remember. And I'll be here as our guide to remind us. From here, let's come to a stand. So feeling your feet underneath your hips, feeling your hips underneath your shoulders. So we're gonna stack everything on everything. Spread your toes wide, send your heels down, thighs slightly press back, belly slightly scoops in, shoulders melt down, palms are active at the sides. 
Feel your feet as your anchor here. Maybe even glue them to the earth. From that stability, as you inhale, rise your arms tall to the sky. Maybe you look up. As you exhale, bend your elbows, open your heart, let your back bend a little bit open. Inhale, arms go tall. Exhale, elbows wide, heart moves through, maybe you gaze up. Inhale, arms go tall. One more time. Exhale, bend your elbows, move your heart through. Inhale, draw your arms tall, grabbing the right wrist with your left hand, grounding down into your right heel. And then from that anchor, reach up and over to the left. So maybe slightly looking up. Shoulders melting down, breath moving through. As you inhale, come back to center, anchor down into your right heel, grab, or sorry, your left heel, grab your left wrist with your right hand, and from that anchor of your left heel, reach up and over to the right. Let the breath move through, bringing breath into as many shapes as we can remember. Inhale back to center, and then we're going to exhale, fold the body in half. Let your head go. Inhale, hands to shins, heart moves away from tailbone, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, release your head. Inhale, draw your arms tall to the sky, away from your feet, ground anchor your feet down. And then exhale, pull your hands into your heart. One more time, just like that. Breath with movement, keep your feet glued to the earth. Inhale, reach your arms tall. Exhale, fold the body in half, let your head go. Inhale, hands to shins, heart reaches away from your tailbone. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms go tall to the sky. Exhale, hands go to the heart. Sink your hips back on your next inhale, chair pose. We'll pause here. So anchor is in the heels here. Pull your belly back to your spine, send your shoulders away from your ears, make sure you can see your toes, if not, send your hips farther back. As you exhale, extend your legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Hands come down to the earth, step your feet back, plank pose. So little pause here, you can tap your knees down. Press down into your knuckles, scoop your belly up towards your spine. If your legs are lifted, heels are reaching back. And then as you exhale, hips come up and back, down dog. We'll pause here. So inner arms spiral in, pressing into your knuckles, heart melting back, heels are reaching towards the earth. They never have to get there. Let your head go. And then see what's your anchor here. So we've got the knuckles, the balls of the feet, the head is heavy. As you inhale, roll forward to a plank. As you exhale, hips come up and back, down dog. As you inhale, forward to a plank. As you exhale, downward facing dog. This time we're gonna roll forward to a plank. Right hand taps up towards the left shoulder. Feel your left hand as your anchor and then set the right hand down. Right hand is the anchor. Left hand lifts up towards right shoulder. Left hand goes down. And then moving on your own. You can do this with your knees tapped down. 
Notice how you have to anchor yourself to balance to lift your opposite arm up to your opposite shoulder. What happened to the breath? So the breath is a great anchor to keep us calm, to keep us stable. Take one more each side or not. Hips come up and back, downward facing dog. Right foot steps for the right hand. We're staying up on the ball of the back foot. So we're coming into a little balance of crescent. Right knee stacks over the right ankle. Arms come out to the sides. Feel your feet as your anchor. Press into that anchor to rise yourself up. So crescent lunge here. Shoulders melt down. You can tap your left knee down at any point. Feel what's touching the earth, so the ball of the back foot, maybe the knee, the entire sole of the right foot. Let that be your anchor, even if you kind of move or wobble in the upper body. So that's totally okay. Left hand goes down to the earth, or maybe a pillow or a book. Right arm goes tall to the sky. You can tap your left knee down. Steady your gaze on a point. Feel your left hand tapping down, your right foot down, the ball of your left foot or maybe your left knee down. Find your breath. Right hand comes outside the right foot and then step the right foot back. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps for the left hand. We're supposed to be stay up on the ball of the back foot on this side. So pressing down into what's touching earth, let that be the anchor to draw yourself tall to your crescent lunge. Right knee can tap down if you need. Let whatever's touching earth be your anchor and that means that you might wobble a little bit in the upper body, that's totally fine. Right hand comes down to the floor, a book, a block, a blanket, a pillow, whatever you need underneath your right hand or not. Right knee can tap down if you need. Steady your gaze, feel whatever's touching the earth, let it. And then right, or sorry, left hand comes down, find your way back to plank, downward facing dog. Let's walk the hands back for the feet. Put a little bend into your knees and roll yourself nice and slow up to standing. Beautiful. So we're going to come into some balance. Balance can be frustrating. You can use a wall. So we're going to come into tree pose. Maybe your left hand comes to a wall. We're going to start on the left side. So balance is all about anchoring, right? So we want to find whatever's touching the earth and grow from that stability. So instead of just kind of going into tree without a foundation, we want to build the foundation, make sure we're nice and secure as we build the balance up. So maybe the left hand comes to the wall, or you can just have your left hand at your left hip, right hand at right hip. Spread the toes of the left foot nice and wide set them down, ground the entire left sole of the foot down. Send your left thigh back, steady your gaze on a single point. So the left leg becomes the trunk of our tree. Right foot gets nice and light. Take the right foot at your left ankle. Remember, left hand can come to a wall. So the right knee is tracking out from the right hip. Soften your jaw and then notice what happened to the breath. Can you bring a stable breath back? Can you keep grounding down into your left standing foot and your left leg? If you're wobbly, please stay here. We're already in tree. If you feel like you have a good anchor today, maybe you take that foot into the calf. Maybe you take that foot into the inner left thigh. If you do have the foot on the leg, press the leg into the foot as much as you're pressing foot into leg. So everything's hugging into center and that 
left foot is grounding down. So don't put pressure on your knee. So if you have the foot on the leg, either the inner thigh or the calf or the ankle, steady your gaze, steady your breath, ground down into the trunk of your tree. Soften your jaw. It's okay if you sway and bend in the breeze. Maybe you know that you need to take your left hand to the wall. Maybe you grow your branches tall to the sky. Settle your shoulders away from your ears. Taking one more breath wherever you are. And then as you exhale, release. Really nice. Maybe shaking out that left foot. We're going to move on to the right side. So again, maybe taking your right hand to a wall, maybe spreading the toes of your right foot nice and wide, ground down into the entire sole of your right foot, send your right thigh back, pick something that's not moving at eye level. You can take your left hand to your hip, maybe the right hand to the hip, and then the left foot comes to the ankle. The left knee tracks out from the left hip. So grounding down into the trunk of our tree. This side might be different. So no expectations, just being with whatever's happening on this side. So maybe you take your right hand to a wall to add another bit of foundation. If you're feeling stable on this side, it doesn't have to be what you did on the other side. Maybe take the foot to the calf, maybe take the foot to the inner thigh. Again, pressing leg into foot as much as you're pressing foot into leg. Keep grounding down into your right foot. Keep steadying your gaze and your breath on a single point. It's okay if you're bending and bowing in the breeze. That's exactly what trees do. Maybe you grow your branches or not. Everything I say is just a suggestion. You are your own best teacher. Listen to yourself. Listen to your body. Listen to what the breath is telling you. And then on your next exhale, release. One more little standing balancing thing, similar to what we just did. But it might feel a little simpler, but I think it's a little more challenging. So we'll see. We're all a little different. So again, we're going to start on the left leg. You can have your left hand to a wall or not. Spread your left toes wide. Set them down. Ground into the entire sole of the foot. Hands come to your hips or left hand comes to a wall. Right knee lifts to maybe hip height, maybe a little lower. And we're just gonna pause here for a minute. So almost like you have a string on your thigh that someone was pulling up, like you were like a little marionette. You're welcome to stay here or maybe extending, keeping that thigh maybe the same height, extending your foot, flexing, grounding down, breath is filling in, gaze is steady. And then exhale to release. That was challenging, right? <laughs> okay, other side. So right hand comes to a wall, spread your right toes wide, settle your foot down. Maybe you choose to use a wall on this side, bending your left knee, maybe to hip height, maybe a little lower. Think about someone with a string pulling this. So the, the work is, is in the thigh here. Grounding down into your Right standing leg, establish your balance. You might stay here, or maybe for a few breaths, you kick, you extend your left foot out. Keep that right, sorry, left thigh reaching up to the sky. How's your breath? And then as you exhale, release. Beautiful. We're gonna come to legs up the wall. So this is a great anchoring and grounding pose. I really recommend doing this pose if you just need a reset. So if you can only do one yoga pose a day, this would be the pose I'd recommend. Um, if you're in a bad mood, if you're tired, if you're stressed out, if you're human, if you just need a moment of pause, you could just do this pose for a couple minutes. And in my experience, it just allows me to feel an entire reset. So we're going to tuck ourselves close into a wall. 
If you don't have a wall space, I'd recommend using like a closet door. Um, you could use a cabinet, just nothing where there's gonna be stuff that could fall on you. So tucking yourself in, it doesn't matter which shoulder and hip are to the wall, but do make sure that you're nice and close to the wall. Maintaining that connection to the wall, take your hands behind you, slide your hips forward, and then come down to your elbows so that your hip and your elbow and your shoulder are all flush with the door, the wall, the cabinet. And then with the least amount of effort possible, see if you can slide your legs up so that you're in an L shape at the wall with your bottom flush to the thing. If your hips are way out, come back down, set it up so your shoulder and your hip are connected. And then send your legs up. You can take your arms wide like a T or you can rest your hands on your body. You can keep as much bend in your knees as your legs need. Soften your jaw, soften your shoulders, maybe soften your eyes closed. And we're just going to take a pause here in this pose for three minutes. So before we do, I just want to say it's normal to feel little tingles in your legs. If you feel like it's too much or if it feels weird or not right, at any point you can bend your knees, rest the soles of your feet against the wall, and when you feel okay again, you can send your legs back up. So listen to your body here. I'm going to give us the space of a few minutes of silence to just be in this restorative pose. We have just another minute here, just reminding you to allow yourself to be here, to anchor here, to be in your breath here.
And from here, starting to slide your heels down the door, the wall, the cabinet, resting the soles of your feet against whatever you're putting your legs up. Rolling over to one side, making a little shelf for your head with your inner arm, taking a moment of pause here. And then using your free hand to press yourself up. Let's meet back on the mat. We're gonna finish up with a few back bends. A little bit of hip opening and then we'll take some nice rest. So coming to your back, letting the soles of the feet ground down under the knees. Let your fingertips graze the backs of your heels. Remember, we're focusing on anchoring. So in, in our back bend today, we're gonna come into three rounds. You can rest if you don't wanna do this or rest after the first two or whatever you want. So from here, we're gonna use our feet as our anchor. We're gonna use the, um, the sides of our forearms as the anchor. So from here, with the strength of your thighs and your bottom, press into your feet as anchor one, rise your hips up, find an interlace of your hands underneath your tailbone, tuck your shoulders underneath you, and then press down into the feet, lift up with the thighs, feel the Side, side blades of the forearms grounding down. Let that be the anchor. And then rise your hips skyward. Take a few breaths here. Squeezing your bottom, using the strength of your thighs. How's your breath? As you exhale, set everything down. One hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Take a full breath through your nose. Release the breath from your mouth. Round two, press down into your feet, rise your thighs, maybe interlace your hands, tuck your shoulders, and then use whatever's touching the earth as your anchor to rise yourself up into your bridge. Find your breath. On your exhale, set it down. One hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Take in an inhale through your nose. Release and exhale from your mouth. Option to rest or last one. Press into your feet, rise your hips, interlace hands, tuck shoulders. Use whatever is touching earth as a grounding anchor to rise up out of the shape. Take one more big inhale. Come on down on your exhale, one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Bring in an inhale through your nose. Release and exhale from your mouth. Take your feet wider than your hips. Knees fall into touch. Take a few breaths there. And then take your knees back underneath or back over your heels, fingertips graze your heels. We'll come into a hip stretch. On your inhale, rise your right foot skyward. Exhale, right ankle over left thigh. So we have a figure four. We're coming into the outer right hip. If you feel a stretch here, you're welcome to stay. If you don't feel a stretch, hug your left knee in towards your left shoulder, thread your right hand between your legs. 
finding an interlace either below your left knee or to the back of your left thigh. If your low back popped up, excuse me, if your low back came up off the ground, settle it back down. You might settle your left foot back down. Find space around your neck by sending your shoulders down. Soften your eyes closed. We're going to take a few breaths into this right hip. So let your exhale move out through your nose. Draw in breath. Through your nose, release your breath. Through your nose, draw in breath. Through your nose, release your breath. Through your nose, draw in breath. Through your nose, release your breath. Through your nose, draw in breath. Through your nose, release your breath. Release out of this side. On your next inhale, left foot rises. Exhale, left ankle crosses right thigh. Take a pause here, see what's happening in the left hip today. You could stay here even if you moved into the other variation on the other side. Or maybe you have more space on this side to hug your right knee towards the right shoulder, thread your left hand through the legs, and then finding an interlace either below your right knee or to the back of the right thigh. Allow your low back to settle. Find space around your neck. Soften your eyes closed. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale, release. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale, release. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale, release. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale, release. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale, release. Come on out of this side. Finding our way into happy baby. So either grabbing the outsides of the feet if the low back stays down. If not, grabbing the backs of the thighs. Settling the feet towards the ceiling as you settle the hips down towards the earth. So it might feel nice to rock here. It might feel nice to be still. If you are rocking, find a couple moments in stillness. And then the next time you exhale, releasing to a comfortable position on your back. So we're going to come into a guided relaxation. So make sure that you're in a place where you can be comfortable. So you could even come to lie in your bed for this part. You could bend your knees and rest the soles of the feet underneath the knees. So just allowing your body to settle, allowing the earth or your bed to meet the entire back body. Allowing your eyes to soften, close. Allowing your jaw, your shoulders to melt down. 
We'll start our guided relaxation by drawing awareness to the breath. So anchoring our awareness in breath. I invite you here to scan your body for an area that feels tight, tired, stressed, anxious, or maybe a little closed off. And we're just going to anchor our breath here to be aware of it and to maybe release or bring energy into it. So if you have a lot of areas, just choose one. If you don't know what to choose, maybe just choose to anchor your breath in your belly again. So let your exhale move all the way out. Through your nose, draw in breath. Through your nose, release from this area. Through your nose, draw attention and awareness here. Through your nose, release something. And last time, through your nose, draw your awareness to this area. Through your nose, release from this area. And then just allowing your breath to fill back in however it wants. So with your eyes closed, with your entire body grounding down, start to draw some awareness to your feet. So noticing if there's any gripping or holding in the feet. And maybe through noticing, we soften and release. Drawing awareness up to the ankles and the shins and the calves. Releasing and softening in those areas. Drawing awareness to your knees softening the knee joints, drawing your awareness to your thighs, so the fronts of the thighs, the backs of the thighs, letting all that settle down, soften, drawing awareness across your hips and your low back, Allowing your middle back and your upper back to soften, shoulders melting away from your ears. Allowing your arms to be heavy at your sides. So your triceps, your elbows, your forearms and your wrists release. Drawing awareness into your palms, the backs of the hands and your fingers, softening there. Drawing awareness to your stomach. So notice if you're holding or gripping in your belly. And maybe through noticing, there's a little room to release and soften. Coming up to the space of your beautiful heart. Maybe noticing, acknowledging anything that's in your heart. Maybe allowing that feeling or whatever's in your heart just to be there. Just to acknowledge that it's there. Drawing your awareness into your throat and your neck allowing those areas to be very soft. Drawing awareness into your jaw, allowing your jaw to release from its hinge. Allowing the tongue to be heavy inside your mouth. Allowing your cheeks to rest. Allowing breath to move in and out of your nose as sound moves in and out of your ears, allowing your eyelids to be heavy, your eyes to soften, 
Allowing your forehead to rest. Allowing the top of the head, even the hair to soften. And just being here in your body in this space for just a minute of Shavasana. So starting to bring your awareness back to your breath. Feeling the earth underneath you as you start to find some gentle movements in your fingers and your toes. Eventually rolling over to your right side, making a little pillow for your head with your inner arm. And from the anchor of the earth, press yourself up to a comfortable seat, resting your palms down on your thighs, growing your heart tall, sending your shoulders away from your ears and softening your eyes closed. Noticing your breath as your anchor for the way that you feel if you ever want to change the way that you're feeling or lean into how you're feeling, the breath can be a very powerful tool to do that. So drawing your hands into a gesture at your heart. I just want to thank you all so much for sticking with us as we pivoted digitally with Grand Park this last year. I think we've done like 120 some classes, so good for you for showing up. Um, we're going to have a really exciting new program in the fall that we're developing right now. So for yoga and wellness in the fall throughout the, the next year. Um, so if you want to continue to practice, please do. There's a whole archive on uh, Grand Park's YouTube page or Grand Park's Facebook videos. If you need practices, you could even stick with that 12, 15 to one time since you're um, maybe used to that. Um, I'd also encourage you to seek out new teachers to see who you can learn from. There's so many great yoga teachers in Los Angeles and beyond, so maybe using the summer as an opportunity for that. But a huge, huge thank you to Grand Park, a huge thank you to you, our community. I'm so grateful that we were able to continue to move and breathe together during this really, really hard time. Thank you all so much. The light in me sees and honors the light in all of you.